Welcome back to Exhausted Reviews, where I'm exhausted and I make reviews. Yep, if you're looking at the screen right now, you can tell we are in another mobile episode. Because I am still out on the town, but that's not going to stop me from talking about my adventures with Superman Episode 6. Now y'all look, we don't have a lot of time here, so I'll just be frank with you. This is a good episode. <clears throat> I saw a lot of people talking about how Lois is worse than Amber from Invincible. And let me just stop and say that, first off, Amber, after... Okay, if you've seen Invincible, you know they have a similar superhero secret identity thing. But when Amber caught Mark disappearing during a superhero uh, incident, do you know what she did? She went and talked to another guy. She literally went and talked to another guy in front of Mark and then said, oh yeah, we're not together anymore. So like... Amber is literally just a piece of trash. Lois has literally been throwing herself out of windows since very, very, very early on to the comics. So this should not be even be a comparison to be making. Lois throwing herself out of windows is it even happened in the first super, Superman movie too. So like, it's not it's 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 a thing. It's literally a thing. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I say uh, like her throwing herself out out of windows and off of buildings isn't a big thing, but. It, nonetheless, it is part of the Superman mythos, and they do a lot to respect the Superman mythos here. So obviously, Jimmy gets captured, and we have Lois and Clark, which still sounds like Lewis and Clark to me. It's just so hilarious, exploring the old Cadmus, <clears throat> the old Cadmus lair. Also, as soon as Superman enters, this sort of power dampening field automatically activates, and like, well, the, he notices like this barrier that was basically hiding them from from overhead view. That's why Superman wasn't able to find them. So as they're going through, they're looking through Jimmy's phone. They see him get kidnapped by a gorilla, or Bigfoot even. And then it turns out someone in my, in my comments actually left this comment, but I haven't I haven't been able to respond to it. It's not Gorilla Grodd, unfortunately. It is Monsieur Mala, who I have no idea who that is. But I know people are going to be mad. Why are they going to be mad, you ask? Because <laughs> he's gay. It's a gay monkey. People are going to be so mad when they find out that this monkey is gay you have no idea people get really be getting upset over like the dumbest things y'all you have like no idea so people are definitely gonna be mad about a gay monkey and a floating robot brain being in a relationship but also it's it's superman who cares it's a cartoon y'all get, get your get get over yourselves and and uh, what i like about this episode is that all the jimmy stuff of him feeling kind of unimportant it's actually kind of like canonized. It's canonized in this uh, in this show that Lewis, not Lewis, Lois and Clark have been kind of buttholes. They kind of have not been the best friends, and you know nobody ever really took Jimmy seriously. But we also just like I don't know. It's it's just funny that Jimmy is is vindicated to a point. Because of how people have been, his his alleged friends have been treating him. <clears throat> so he does end up being, uh, they do end up running into some robots that activate because of Clark's. We, we, we learn later on in the episode that the technology automatically flipped on by, by uh, what's it called? Task Force X, as they're called. So like the General Lane stuff. Apparently there must have there must have been some other kind of Kryptonian or something some other kind of like otherworldly influence, because these these scientists were doing a bunch of like cool sciencey things and the government task force X wanted them to make weapons and so when they didn't, they uh, tried to shut down the place but these people survive but the robots that were a part of the in the forest were old robots so like they were recently reactivated because of Clark, so. Uh, Jimmy and the monkey start bonding over the love of weaponry and science, and I think that's pretty cool. And the brain is always trying to kill something, which is hilarious. So we get some some more chemi chemi chemical chemistry and character work between these two, where basically what ends up happening is, you know, Lois sees Lois, Clark is literally about to jump in front of her, in front of, her, in front of Lois, and she sees that, you know, it's not like he Superman Clark. He wasn't trying to hurt her. She, she can, she can see very clearly that the, he does not want her to get hurt. So they've definitely were just suffering from a bit of a miscommunication, 
and after messing around with a, a black hole, we <clears throat> our whole crew pulls up to the no, door. This isn't we get Jimmy squared up, and he <laughs> he literally tells me, I, I know you're Superman. When we first met, you tore the handle off. The, you broke the door handle in half and said it was <laughs> a screw loose. And he's like, bro, you literally broke the door. And he's like, I was just waiting for you to tell me. So oh, we get a lot of fun. So like, Jimmy <clears throat> isn't as incompetent or oafish as we think he is. Maybe there's been some some foreshadowing. Hold it's, You it's told cool. Lois it's before fun. you told me your best friend? Okay. It's, uh, really good stuff, and I'm really glad that <clears throat> they they did this whole thing. They, they they wrapped up the whole betrayal arc in like one episode, basically. After it, st and starting at last episode, they they wrapped it up. You know, Lois, her whole investigation. So now the whole gang is in on it. Everybody knows who. Everybody knows. Everybody knows what well, everybody. But Lois and Jimmy know that Superman is is Clark. We get a, a goofy little battle scene where they introduce <laughs> some little mechs, bro. They made a little army of mutant mechs that look like Gurren Lagann heads. And it's just like, uh, it's a little, it's chaos. They end up activating the black hole to get rid of the robots. And yeah, that's basically how the episode ends. Except, you know, everyone says our, our, their goodbyes. And Brain is like, yo, those robots uh, are coming after you. And that's, that's, that's the general's robots, bro. So like, you better watch out because he literally won't stop. And we all know who the general is gotta be Lois Lane's dad because he's the only other Asian person in the show but also you know Lois Clark wants to stay with his homies as everyone would and he wants my to stay with the people he loves Harry might they and must also take check this out y'all y'all weren't ready for like this y'all weren't ready for Clark and Lois to hold hands dog I did so they're back on good terms y'all it's official Lois and Clark Kent, Lois Lane and Clark Kent are actually in love, guys. Can you believe it? Can you believe the hype? I could not have seen Lois Lane and Clark Kent being together in a Superman show. So, definitely, definitely hype about this. And then we even get uh, over is that Parasite. They're, they're literally just like doing a Suicide Squad. They're bringing in Parasite with a bomb around his neck to do the, uh, the whole Suicide Squad bit. They're trying to take back that lab. So, and I'm pretty sure... We got a reference to Darkseid in this show. I think Darkseid might be like the big bad that happened like twenty something years ago because they mentioned that the 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 shield is, is some kind of Omega shield. And if I remember correctly, Darkseid's laser beams are called that can hurt Superman. They're called Omega beams. I'm pretty sure or, or Omega lasers. I don't know. Someone's gonna have to let me know in the comments down below because this. The amount of, I didn't even know who Manchu Amala was, so like the amount of deep Superman lore they could be going through. We, we don't even know how much Superman lore they've been digging through, so anything is possible. Definitely looking forward to more episodes. Let me know what you guys think of this episode in the comments down below. And I will see you all in the next video, hopefully back in my AI body. Alright, peace. Just gonna do this, this.